Well, new tonight to infinity and beyond. 2020 really turning out to be the modern day version of the great space race. You may recall just two weeks ago, the world watched as four space tours became the first all civilian crew to orbit the Earth for three days. And earlier this summer, we saw billionaires Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson reach the edge of space, even if it was just for a moment. Just for a moment, but they did it. All right, yeah. tonight, 10 TV's Angela Ann shows us an even bigger mission for a Dayton businessman who will make space history in his own right. So you will meet Larry Connor in just a moment. But just this week, Axiom Space announced when it will launch four people to the International Space Station, February 21st. It is the first private all civilian crew to fly to the International Space Station. Now, Larry himself, well, he will serve as the pilot, a role he knows well, but never like this. Are you getting excited as we inch closer and closer? Not yet. You're not excited yet? <laughs> this was in August, before Larry Connors started the intense 10-hour days of training until launch day. In five months, he will go from a civilian to a full-fledged NASA astronaut. I think we have an opportunity, but we also have an obligation to train to the professional astronaut standards. Larry got to know his fellow crew members real well this summer in Alaska, training at the National Outdoor Leadership School. Got in an airplane with a bush pilot, like right out of the movies. He flew us about 40 minutes, dropped us onto this desolate plateau. There's no, no airfield there, and said, well, I'll see you in a week. They quickly learn how to face adversity with rain, snow, freezing temps, and mud that practically sucked off their boots. It was fairly miserable. This is wilderness training. They probably should have said wilderness survival training. Daring adventures, however, are nothing new to Larry Connor. Yeah! In April, he dove to the deepest depth of the world's ocean. He's climbed Mount Rainier and Kilimanjaro. And he can fly like a maverick on more than a dozen aircraft, including an F-5 fighter jet. You'd never dreamed about being an astronaut as a kid or flying into space. True. But was this just for you a natural progression, given your experience? Yeah, that's actually a very good question. And I got interested in flying in 2006, competed for four years in aerobatic competitions, and yeah, I read about this opportunity in 2014, started investigating it on a serious basis, and thought, what a phenomenal opportunity. It is an opportunity Larry knows comes with the privilege of wealth. His multi-billion dollar real estate company holds properties in 11 states. But Larry believes success is also an opportunity and an obligation to give back. Wow. What the? Last year, just oh, as the man. pandemic started, Larry gave away Mom. every penny of what he made in the stock this market over eight idea. days of coronavirus volatility, oh, $1.6 million. I started to think about probably our two most important core values. Do the right thing and people count. It is a motto and a mission Larry plans to take with him to the ISS. He plans to hold intergalactic virtual lessons for a Dayton charter school to help inspire the next generation of explorers. And perhaps the biggest selfless act of this mission? It's been great that not only myself, but the other three crew members have all volunteered, both with Cleveland Clinic and Mayo, to be, in essence, human guinea pigs in any experiments they want to do prior to the flight, during the flight, or after the flight. Looking around, it seems Larry was born to fly beyond the skies. His Connor Group headquarters sits right next to an airfield where he can watch planes come and go. And the office decor is filled with hints of planes of the past, which is fitting because Larry will carry with him to space a piece of fabric from the original 1903 Kitty Hawk, flown by none other than the Wright brothers. Hopefully, we are pioneers in that regard to help move space exploration forward. Whenever Axiom One's Crew Dragon capsule reaches the stars, Larry Connor's story will have come full circle. Now, one thing to note, NASA still has to sign off on Larry and the other crew members when they complete their astronaut training, making sure they are also medically fit to fly. For 10TV News, I'm Angela Ann. Back to you.